In the Gospel at Mass today, there's one of my favorite healing stories. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the story I'm referring to is where a leper comes up to Jesus and says, If you wish, you can make me clean. Then it says that Jesus, moved with pity, stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left the man. I love the part where Jesus enters into the leper's isolation and actually touches him, thus making himself unclean in the eyes of the law, which forbade anyone to come into contact with a leper. With this story, I can't help thinking of Damien of Molokai, who was canonized just last October. Saint Damien was a missionary to the lepers of Hawaii, and after serving them for 16 years, he contracted the disease himself and died. Eleven lepers from Molokai went to Europe for his canonization, but before getting to Rome, they went to his tomb in Belgium. One described their visit to the tomb this way. It's about two flights of stairs down. It's very simple, really serene. When we got there, we all got a feeling that Damien was waiting there to greet us. The eleven each left a colorful Hawaiian lei on top of his tomb. And then in Rome, one man, Norbert Palea, who 60 years ago was separated from his mother and sent to the leper colony on Molokai and couldn't even hug or kiss her goodbye, he couldn't believe how people came up and wanted to touch him in Rome. He said, the people were all crying and they came up and kept asking if they could touch me. A lot of people asked. They wanted to be able to say they touched one of Damien's people. I can't help thinking that when they touched him, the power of love healed his emotional wounds and any wounds that those who wanted to touch him also carried.